Hey yo together and very welcome to the Star of 2 Crazy Replays today on Coda Letter Edition with a TVZ. Oh yeah. And that one should be very entertaining. We have spawning in the left top position, playing for the Heralds Esports, it's the Red Zerg Gerd. Or in German Gerd. And his opponent me spawning in the right bottom position, the blue Terran Alex Usher. Okay, so lean back, enjoy the show, because that one has to be very good. I guess I will try to follow this overload for now. So, yeah. Both players spamming their APM, and so far, Gerd, way better than me, as it looks like. Uh, nope, not on average. There we go. Oh, the race is real. That spam, man. That spam. <laughs> yeah, not doing anything here. So we have barracks. Typical stuff. Will we see hatch or pool first? That's the big question. Uh, for now, I guess it is hatch first. Yeah, there we go. Hatch first. The drone is a bit too early. I guess, but that's okay. And there we go. And for me, of course, the gas behind that. So, you will see what I'm choosing to go. I, I don't know, I have now two builds in TVC, or maybe even three. Uh, they don't differ too much, but... Yeah, they are, they are quite nice. So, let's see if you can see one Reaper or two Reaper. So, that's a big question. Command Center is upgrading into an orbital command and one reaper being produced there we see the wall of complete and yeah pool starting as well as the extractor so that's good okay scouting a little bit here overload in position and for now we have only one reaper so this could be a very interesting build you might see here could be oh yeah oh yeah and there's the reactor, so with that I have the Reaper for scouting, I will get the orbital co uh, the command center most likely at the high ground because there's nothing down there to defend in case of a uh, pool for hatch, which is basically that build to counter CC on the low ground. Even with a second Reaper it's difficult to hold. Uh, but now it's hatch first, everything is fine, but you never know, you never know. So there we go, Reaper might find a kill here, uh, maybe not, Circlings are hatching, I just scouted around for, for the gas timing stuff, is there enough mine, will the pool start, uh, researching, and then I'm fine. And there we see the factory, okay, oh I might get a kill there, uh, at least force a drone morphing to an extractor. And oh yeah, that's that's damage. That's that's damage dealt. You can see the resources tab. It's not a super huge deal, but it's something. And he lost some mining time as well. Not too bad. Anything counts. Anything. And we see a second factory. And now it's getting very interesting because he could try to scout it with the overlord. As a Zerg player, really, seriously, as a Zerg player. If you see marines patrolling like that and that with your overlord and you are not able to identify what's coming, throw down a safety roach wall. Just do it and get like 6 roaches, 6 to 8 roaches. It might throw you back with your build. But if you're not a professional gamer, uh, I would recommend it because that timing could otherwise kill you. Uh, it's double. Yeah, look at that. Double reactor factories, the most likely mass hellions or hellbats, with some marines as well, which is really strong. And as you can see, Gerd didn't scout at all, doesn't see anything there with the circling. He just sees, yeah, for hellions, for Reba, that's normal. And he's getting safety spores, but they don't do anything. He got a road run, and there we see the roaches, and that's good. His expand is a bit late. Where is his expansion? 
He doesn't have one yet, but he's getting some roaches. So that's that's good. I really think you should expand. Uh, so he's preparing with those roaches for now. He's droning up. It's okay. Uh, normally, hmm. yeah, difficult. He's getting more gases. That's okay, but his expansion is a bit late, to be honest. Maybe that's because of the safety roaches, but yeah, that's that's that. Ooh, he's moving out to scout. Uh, might find those hellions. Oh wow! So the reaper goes in. These not all too much. Oh no, the roaches! They're out of position. Ooh. What what is this? Uh, I could go in. So now I see the roaches with the hellions. Uh. Uh. Okay, I'm coming back. I could have gone in and killed every single drone, but instead I'm I'm coming back. That's I guess not the smartest choice here. Ooh, those roaches taking big damage! Ooh, wow! So, not too many dro uh, roaches died yet, but they took big damage there. Yeah? So, he can trade quite good with those few roaches against the Hellions. Uh, I should have. I, I think I should have gone in. With the six Hellions and kill all the drones because I had enough back at home to defend. Pull some SVs, focus fire the roaches, I'm fine. Uh, that was a mistake because there were only two, three queens and nothing else. I could have killed so much with those six Hellions, but mistakes were made. Sometimes it's good to watch the replay to know what's going on. So here we come with the super late attack and he got a lot of roaches and roaches can kite for days. Uh, especially on creep, they are quite fast against those hellbats. Ooh, he sees that this queen will go down for sure. That's a bit unfortunate, but... Mm, okay, killing one drone there. This attack looks scary, but he got enough roaches, I would say. And, oh yeah. With more and more roaches being produced, he should be able to hold this. Uh, yeah, that's looking very good for him. Those hellbats at the back, not, not doing anything. The splash is not real, and oh my god, moving like that. Yeah, I kill some roaches, but with the help of the circling there as well, he holds this with ease. That wasn't a favorable trade for me at all. Not at all. I mean, income-wise, it's, it's quite equal, so I'm not really far behind, but... Wasn't too good here. Oh no, the middle mine. Ooh! That was, that was random. That really was very random. So he's creeping that base to a certain extent. And we see the barracks. Okay. I still got two factories there. Uh, he's not moving out with the roaches. He stays defensively, which is okay. Uh, saturation is good. He needs to draw up just a little bit more. And we see one one for him. And just plus one for me currently. So my upgrades will be very bad in this game. A starport finally being produced, and this creep is very annoying. And he's sacrificing this overlord because he knows, okay, if I wanna take that base, it will take some time until the creep is done. So the creep is decreasing here, uh, but not fast enough. Nope. Well, four widow mines there, oh wow. Yeah, and that's really annoying. That is really annoying. So he's going for uh, Ling Bling Mutalisk after the initial roaches. So that's good. And he's finally up to 70 drones. Uh, soon he will take most likely a fourth base and get the gases to transition then into Ultralisk later on. The army supply is looking quite equal. We have. Yeah, 12 circling, 13 roaches. That's not too much. But it's producing 11 mutilists with plus one on the way as well. So that's good. Uh, okay, there's a turret, there's a turret, there's a turret being produced as well as the bunker. I need more SCVs. I'm not producing SCVs, I'm on 51 worker. That's not really good. And mutilists are out, so. Oh, oh, that drop. I like the Widowmind drop. 
that can deal a lot of damage. So there are the muters. The good thing is for me, uh, his overlord spread isn't the best. I didn't get a Rike in this game, so uh, he might see it. Yeah, he sees it now. Will he react? Yeah, he sees it immediately reacts. And those roaches will work with that. Uh, he might find that one as well. Boosting away, dropping the Widow Mines. They are not going off. Are they? Oh, that one killed some circlings. That drop gets deflected as well. Uh, just six worker kills in total, not too impressive. Mm. In the whole time, I just produced two SCVs. You can imagine how bad I am? Wow. Wow. Uh, but cranking up the production, adding uh, those turrets, uh, the mutalist still chasing for medivacs, I guess. Uh, yeah, Gerd is really defensive. Really defensive. And there are a lot of widow mines. Look at that. Oh, wow. So this could deal a lot of damage. Uh, he's finally morphing Bailings. Those are indeed a lot of mutalists. And one turret with counter repair shouldn't be enough to defend. Oh, the widow mines are burning. There we go. Big engagement. The widow mines not shooting whatsoever. Oh, my goodness. That fight was perfect for me. He has to come back with the mutalist to defend, so this base is safe. Oh, that's so much bio. Look at the army supply, it's quite close. Uh, all those units are heavily overstilled, they don't have too many medivacs. That's a big mistake for me. I need to split better, those are banelings, there are a lot of banelings in this composition. Ah, uh, kind of back, Marauder at the front, that's just really, really good for me. The split's not the best here. The banes get the connections they are seeking for, but the Widow Mines clearing the rest, but... The mutalists remain, and that's the biggest issue. The mutalists remain. Bam. And yeah, now he can go for the counter attack. Drilling claws not ready yet. Ooh, those widow mines will die. Oh, drilling claws so close. Very good splash damage. Oh, <laughs> one HP mutalists. They're so low. Uh, will he pressure forward? I think he shouldn't. Those mutalists are heavily injured, and he doesn't know what's going on here. Ah, oh, he flies into the main base. There are turrets in position. He will clear those, maybe? Oh, Thor is here! Oh, ho -ho, so close. So close. Uh, there's a counter-attack, but Bunker is in position. Immediately, SCVs get pulled. Yeah, those circlings not doing anything here. Mm, there's no counter-attack. He's still on 68 drones, so he should saturate. Uh, take this gas. He needs the gas. As a third player, you want to be on 8 gases, so you can go onto Hive, and that's what he's doing right now. He's going into Hive tech, uh, then he can go into Ultralisk or Brute Lord and 3-3 of course, as well as the upgrade for the Circlings, the Adrenal Glands, I, I guess it's called. Yeah, should be. So, uh, drop coming, Vitamine Marine drop. This is very strong, can hit very difficult, so if that hits, it can deal a lot of damage, but we will see. So here we have the multi-pronged attack. The creep spread at the right hand side is good, but not too good. Mm, yeah, he doesn't see it right. There we go. Uh, how many mutalists are there out of the field? 27. That's insane. The 27 mutalists, that's, that's huge. Uh, my 2-1 bioforce is hitting as well as the drop at the same time. I pressure forward. Widowmine's getting good shots here. Uh Oh! Will I get the base? I focus fire the hatch! I get the base! Ah, oh, for that force, how close is it? The queen falls! So what will I focus? The hive? Yeah, it looks like I try to focus the hive, but that's not gonna happen. With the banings. He's getting the ultralist cavern already. Oh no! Oh no, the widow mines! The widow mines! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> so that's how you play TVC. Fit of my drops, guys. Fit of my drops! Oh, and they're still there! Oh, so much damage. But the Ultralist Cavern is on the way. And. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. All those planes will go down for sure. Yeah, they won't hatch. So. The Thor have. Already plus two armor upgrade, which is good. The upgrades on the marines are decent, but not really good. And uh, three three should be finished already, long time ago. Uh, I might also take this gas. 
because I'm producing a lot of Thor, a lot of Widow Mines. I'm adding more barracks here. As you can see. Uh, oh, this Thor should be at the front as well. Everything's so clumped. That's not good. Oh, those Mutalis. Oh, so many of them. Yeah, he goes for the bunker, kills it immediately. Goes for the turret, kills it immediately. We'll get all the SUVs. Might even get the Orbit Command. Oh, and I'm moving with everything. That's exactly what he wants. He tries to kill the Orbital Command, doesn't get it, but here we come for the Big Bane Bust. The Big Bane Bust, BAM! And it will hit, and it will crush the Command Center. No! Oh, cancel and lift. So close. Widow Mines burrowing. Ah! The turret. Oh, he might get the Command Center now. Ooh, it's so close! It's so close! It's so close! He gets it! Sniped! Very well done. And now the bunker is open, so those banes, you could send in some banes, like 8 banes, BAM! Kill all the SUVs. So, here we go, attacking, but are Ultralis on the field already? No. So, no Ultralis yet. Still forward with the Marauder to tank any bane links. Uh, the Widow Mines repositioned themselves to kill even more stuff. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh god. Uh. So here we have a lot of circlings and a lot of widow mines. How many widow mines in total? Ten. Okay. He will hit from, from multiple sides, as it looks like, but ah, there are the ultralists coming. Okay, I'm zooming out, because that this is huge. He got a full surround. My position isn't the best here. He goes in. Three throw are there. The marine Oh got the bailings! Oh the widow mines! My goodness! So the Thor might go down all of them? Uh, not the best Thor micro here, but he lost a lot of Mutalis. Oh my god, he will lose all of the Mutalis. He lost so many Mutalis. There are no... Oh, the Ultralists are there. And they will jump through all those Marines. Bye bye. Close hold, but he lost so many Mutalis. Look at the unit lost tab. The gas, that's massive. And he can't replenish because he never saturated that base uh, correctly. Not really. Look at that. The gas guys are there. Never mind. This one was taken out once. He's not mining here at this main base. Those are the mistakes which will kill him most likely. <laughs> Those widow mines, man. Uh, Altaris are here on the field and they are very strong. But 3-3, not ready for them. And I got my 3-3 bio finally. There's a drop, so he clears those widow mines with the mutalis. He might go in there, and there's this time no planetary fortress as I lifted the main base. Down there. And that's not a huge bio force. Uh, the widow mines are nice, but with the banings. Oh, a drop right here! Taking out that base would be huge. Taking out that as well, so he goes back. He needs to defend. Uh, I'm not gonna go the, get the hatchery this time. So close, but I will get the spire. Uh, and the screen with full energy. So no mutalist now for him, he's... he... Oh, another drop to finish off the surgery. Will it be enough or will those mutalists kill it? So he's coming back. And... I'm not lifting. I'm sacrificing those units. Uh, the mutalists are back. Uh, oh no! Unload! We need to unload, there we go. Uh, hitting left and right, that's really annoying. Good transfuse, but doesn't matter. Edge goes down again. And yeah, his economy's crumbled, crippled. The drop hitting again. This time I might get the hive. Yeah, I will get the hive. This, which triggers the all in. He's going in. There we go. Change links might trigger the widow mine. It does. Oh, the circlings all over the place. Widow mine's not built. Oh, the widow mine hits are okay, but not too good. They're still ultralist. And they are fast and strong. Like, super fast and strong. Off creep, Ultralis are almost as fast as Simbio. Off creep. Uh, base trade, somehow. He can't kill the Orbital Command with only 3 Mutalis. He's losing that base, then the third base. The main base completely destroyed. There's one circling chipping away on those uh, uh, SVs. Yeah, he loses the third base. He's trying to remake the lair. Not gonna happen. He pulls back to defend. But those drops, they really did the damage. Look how many worker died this game. So many worker. And he's clearing that with the banings very nicely. Oh, he loses the last hatchery there. He just got this one left, which just finished. Uh, he got some money left, but no larva. 
He's on on ten lava. Uh, lifting that base back. Huh. But army wise, he got six ultra. Okay, twenty two marauder. Never mind. Twenty two marauder with three three against two two. That should be it. It's his last attack. No, I don't see behind the the brushes there. There we go. Marauder, so good. No focus fire needed this time. Uh, but it would have been good to kite. I guess. Look at that. So Ultralis, it's so close. Without kiting, you can't do it. But I guess we will see the GG soon. And there we go. Oh, drops, man. Drops are really good in TVC. So drop the shit out of your opponent, and you should be fine. If you drop, really good. Oh, so much damage dealt. So much damage dealt. Very interesting. So many marines died. So many circlings. Impressive. APM. Wow. Okay. That's that's that TVC. I have to move on to the next one before the new patch goes online and I can't cast any of the games I recorded, I played. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope as always you enjoyed and I wish you a very nice day and good.